Hey guys, um, it is Wednesday. I was supposed to get this video up yesterday, but that's not the point. I've been really busy. I mean, I just got back from work. I'm still in my work clothes. It's really hot. Oh, oh, it's getting hot. It's that time of the year. It's, what is it? It's May 29th. And I live in San Diego and it's getting pretty hot outside. Um, yeah, I've been really busy. I just signed up for college classes. Woo! Taking a water polo class and I'm really excited. But, um, I chose the theme this week. Which is, um, um, when you felt empowered in the LGBTQ community. I think that's what it is. I don't know, I don't have my laptop, but I should know, because I made it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, a time that I felt empowered in the LGBTQ community. Um, last summer, I went to this uh, camp. It's called Queer Rock Camp. And uh, it was a camp, a week long camp thing from like ages. 15 to 21, something like that, and you like made a band, and you uh, you had like a concert at the end of the week, and it was with a bunch of radical queers, and we did a bunch of cool things, and I remember at the end of the week when we finally did our concert, we had it at um, a theater, and I remember you had to pay to get in, but I remember going on stage, and I was helping MC the the event and um we're going on stage and there's so many people in the crowd like so many people and I really felt that like um like not important not important not the word what am I trying to say I just felt really good that so many people came out because we really worked hard and we really um we really uh, worked hard to make it so that um, what am I trying to say? The queer involvement was great. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure how to get these words out. You guys catching? You picking up what I'm putting down? Do ya? I hope so. But, uh, yeah. And, um, another time is when I was on a pride float. Um, and, uh, that was just empowering because um, just representing the queer community, which I love, and um, that was fun. We uh, played in sync out of this big truck, and um, we threw things at the audience, and that was when I was not completely out to everyone, which made me feel really good because. It was like the first thing that I ever did to like um, really express myself and my queerness, I guess. I saw like long hair and like a lot of people didn't know. So yeah. Um, the challenge this week was to share a very embarrassing moment, which happened at Queer Rock Camp. It was the day of the concert and um, on stage. There was, in the back of the stage, in the corner, there were stairs that went up that, um, that you could, like, get dressed and stuff, and there was, like, a bathroom up there, and I fell down those stairs onto the stage, and it was before the show had started, but the people who had already sat down saw me. It was really embarrassing. And, um, yeah. Uh, I just remember falling and like, like getting up as fast as I could because I knew there was like people in the stands, which was, yeah. I didn't know them, and I feel like that kind of like diffused some of the uh, awkwardness or embarrassment because like I have no problem embarrassing myself in front of people that I'll never see again or I don't know, but something about just falling onto a stage in front of people who paid to see you. I feel like they paid to see me fall. Yeah. 
Anyways, that was my piece. Um, I have to go finish a project on the 60s. Um, I'm really excited. We made really cool tie-dye shirts. Really, really cool. They're really cool. We made them yesterday, and I still have a dye on my fingers. And it's messy. It came with gloves, but I didn't use it. You want to see the shirts? You want to see them? I'm going to run and get them. This one. This one. They're pretty sweet. I really like tie dye. I did tie dye before, but it didn't come out good. And um, I did it with friends, and we're gonna wear like tie dyed headbands, and like I'm not sure yet, but we have to present in two days. We still have an essay to write. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Urgh. But yeah, I I best be doing that right now. Actually, I have I have quite a bit to do, and I'm gonna be on the computer, so that means I'm gonna be distracted. So I better get to it. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Because I'm filling in for Gina for the time being. Until she comes back. Because she's busy. So that's where I come in. Alright guys. I will see you next week. Bye bye.